So, some time ago, I have found a crate, and in it, something that looks like parts of a hammer drill. I have no idea of the background story here, why is it in parts? Does it still work? So the first thing I will do is check the parts and confirm if the drill is complete. Starting with the main wire, we can see that its end has been cut for some reason. We now have the cover for the handle, and the body of the drill. The speed regulator looks alright and all connected. And it looks like someone has removed the brushes holders. One brush is also missing. There is also something strange about the second brush, but I will come back to it later. We also have the armature and the drill chuck that fits into the body of the drill and a few bits or hardware to tie it up all together, including the second motor brush. I'm adding my trusted power cord to the drill to fire it up later if all goes to plan. The idea at this stage is just to check if the drill is working and is worth me spending some time on it. The stator windings do not show any signs of black or discoloration that would indicate that the windings have been fried, yet there is a bit of rust on the stack lamination that I would need to tackle later. The real problem is with the brushes as one is missing, but since it has been earlier located with the small hardware, I will simply place it back. I know it does not have the right shape to meet the commutator and that you may fry the engine if pulling too much power, but this is just for the sake of a small test, so we should be fine. The second brush is also a concern as it seems it is some way stuck in its holder. With a screwdriver, I slightly unbent the housing and voila, much better. And now the brushes can go back in their place using the four small machine screws shown earlier. and the handle can be mounted back. Looking at the armature now, there is also no sign of burnt or discolored wiring, which is positive news. The armature also spins freely, so the bearings are doing the job. There is also here a bit of rust on the stack lamination and the commutator does show a stripe that would be consistent with a broken brush, but other than that nothing really striking. At this stage, I got pranked, as I need to push the brushes out of the way to fully insert the armature into the body of the machine. This can't be done here with the handle in place so I'll remove it to access the brushes again and place it back when done. I thought the drill was complete, but attaching the body to the chuck requires four long bolts that were not in the box and that I do not have. We will therefore have to improvise. It works. But there is still some areas to tackle before claiming success. Remove the rust on the stator and armature, tackle the broken brush problem, find four new bolts, clean the drill. But that will be for another video. As to what happened to the drill, I'm thinking that one has fallen causing one of the brushes to break and the other one to get stuck in its holder. If that's the case that would be good news, since this may exclude some other serious fatal electrical problems.
In any cases, if you can think of any other theories or things I have overlooked, happy to hear them.